Loading repeated his assertion, without evidence, that European Union leaders in Brussels wanted to fill Europe with migrants from other continents. With European Parliament elections set for May, he claimed that unchecked EU immigration would create mixed populations in countries that Muslims would eventually dominate, making Christians a minority. Other measures announced include the expansion of a subsidized home loan program for families with at least two children and subsidies for car purchases. Hungary in February became the first European Union country to be designated as only partly free in an annual gauge of democratic freedoms, underscoring the effects of Orban's drive to create an illiberal state. The erosion of democracy under Orban constitutes the most dramatic decline ever charted in the EU, Freedom House, a Washington-based think tank, said in its annual Freedom in the World report. All other 27 EU members retained a free label. The government in Budapest rejected the report, saying that Freedom House was part of the empire of George Soros, the Hungarian-born billionaire investor and philanthropist. Most of Freedom House's funding in fact comes from the U.S. government. Orban, who returned to power in 2010, has overseen the most extensive centralization of power since the end of communism. He has appointed allies to head formerly independent institutions, extended his influence over parts of the court system and curbed dissent by tightening regulations over universities and civil society. The EU is currently probing whether to sanction the perceived rule of law violations in both Hungary and Poland. Hungary has become a trailblazer when it comes to dismantling democracy, said Zalik CSAKY, Freedom House's head of research for Europe and Eurasia. It spawned copycats inside the EU as well as across the Atlantic.